Hey, how's it going guys? Holy shit, I haven't spoken to the camera like this in ages. I hope you're all doing well. I wanna talk to you guys about a lot of things that's going on in my life, that's going on around with the boys and with this channel. So let's throw it back all the way to 2019. I was literally one of you guys. I was watching the boys travel to Dubai, going to Singapore, all over the world doing fucking awesome photo battles. I was a fan. Then I actually got a chance to meet the boys through my old job, which at the time, by the way, I was already smashing CK. I was making heaps of artwork. I was already making like short form type of video content. Hadn't made a YouTube video yet. It was COVID that really brought us super close, but it was also COVID that threw us under the bus. Instead of content being the main priority, it was now more just the health and safety of each other. And then we were looking at getting content back on its feet eventually. Now COVID ended and alongside that, we all bought some plane tickets over to Europe. I actually went to LA, Lean went to Europe to visit Mike who had just gone to meet Faye. Hayden and I hung out for about two months in LA and this was like for me, an opportunity to not only get closer with the boys, but also work on my content. I just finished university, so I had way more time to invest into content. I was also doing client work, so I didn't have unlimited time. I've been making three patterns a month for the past year for Slash Potato, which has been very intense, but nonetheless, no university, which is great. So I saw this as an opportunity to really, really grow CK. I kind of put expectation on myself that this trip was going to just kick me off and we were finally gonna get off our feet when it came to content creation and social media. A little bit into the trip, however, once I went to Europe, I started to realize that it wasn't actually the case. Why isn't this going as planned? How can I change that? And so in my situation, I'm traveling the world. I wanna make content for you, but I also wanna make content for me. And this is what I realized at that point in time, thinking what am I going to wanna watch when I, it's 10 years later down the track and I wanna click on a YouTube video and look at my time through fucking Dubrovnik shooting POV. I just lost my film camera in Turkey. And so I was actually using my Sony a7 III a lot more. And I feel like my photography has gotten a lot better because of it. This is the reason as to why I've been doing so many POVs because I love the idea of being able to watch myself, go back through these streets, explore, create, shoot, document my experience. After Turkey, we got robbed. We decided to head back to the Netherlands. Now, I actually met a girl in Greece when I was there with my family and with the boys, Crete, Paros, Santorini. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever encountered. And honestly, I don't know what she fucking sees in me, but it's working out. I actually went to Vienna to go spend a month with her. And that's why I actually ditched left the boys to go on their way back to the Netherlands and ended up spending or solo traveling um, for a month. Now, okay, uh, how do I say this? We, we fell in love in Vienna and it's super weird for me to say because I've been single for the past fucking pretty much my entire life. I've been meeting people, I've been putting myself out there obviously, but there's been no one that I've really felt like I've connected with. And with Anna, I have, which feels amazing. Now, one month, turned into two months because I didn't, I couldn't just leave her after. Yeah, it was a very intense two months. She's actually gonna be coming to Melbourne, December, January, and we're gonna be having heaps of fun. So game plan for CK 2023, all right? I can't rely on YouTube financially yet. I am relying on my client work still, but I wanna be able to take more time with the videos I make next year. I think I wanna think it out a little bit more uh, structure and plan exactly what I think you guys want to know or what I really think is important to share with you. And I don't know whether it's gonna be photography, graphic design. The website that I made about two years ago didn't really do much for me. I put so much effort into that and it really hurt to see it not really take off. Fairness, I didn't market it as much as I could have. There were too many products, too many variables. You could choose a canvas of fucking poo bear and you could choose like three different types of wood to get it framed in. And I mean, good on you CK back in the day to be that ambitious and do it and make it work, find the contacts and, and the manufacturers and the suppliers, but no one gives a fuck about my artwork. And you're gonna be sitting there like, oh no, of course we care. But like, let's be honest, like you're not gonna put a fucking poo bear piglet, whatever Thanos up in your dining room. I wanna be focusing more on digital products, things that I think you can just download off the internet, I can make for you and that will help you be a better creative. That's gonna get revamped, I hope, 
for this channel to just be me and you kind of embarking on this creative journey, no matter what it is, really just having fun with it. That's all I want to do. Just have fun with it. That is what's been going on in my fucking life. That was tried to make it quick. If you stayed here till the end, I appreciate it. Not just me, actually, all the boys are very appreciative of it. It's what's been able to get us here. And now that we're all together again, like you would not believe the vibes. This is, it feels like it's just the beginning, but you know, we've had a lot of history. There's a lot of shit that's gone down. And I thank every single one of you that has stuck with all of us up until this point. That's about it. There's a bunch of links down if you want to actually check out my work. Much love. CK out. Oh, that's fucking cringe, man. Fuck. Yeah, I still don't have an outro. Goodbye.